I'll tell y'all right off the bat, I got mixed feeling about this. While I will acknowledge that Walt Disney is known for making some of the most memorable movies, within the last couple of years, they've made some questionable ones. And I don't know how to feel about this one yet because I love Pinocchio, not as much as I love the other uh, animated series or animated movies, such as Aladdin, Lion King, Jungle Book even. This one is still up in the air for me. Now, I got the notification for this saying that there was a new teaser trailer out for Pinocchio, a live action. And the first thing that came to my mind was, haven't they, maybe not Disney, but haven't they done this a couple times already? I mean, there's been a couple of different renditions of Pinocchio. So if anyone is going to do a live action and if anyone is actually going to make the thing make sense and make it look good, I would think it would be this one. I know they did it with Alice in Wonderland. Didn't think that they did a very good job, but um, let's see how this looks. This is the teaser trailer for Pinocchio. Let's have a good look. Move that out the way. Okay. Zemeckis is in here. Okay. That would be Geppetto. Okay, Tom Hanks is Geppetto. Jiminy, all right. It didn't look as bad as I thought it would. It really didn't look as bad as I initially thought it would. L it looks like they changed up quite a lot, introduced some new characters, and switched a couple even. Um, let, let me let me rewatch that again. I like the setting. I really do like the setting. Looks very familiar, obviously. If it's the cartoon version, sure, you can be proud of that. If it's a live action, not really something I'd boast about. Even with this movie. I like that. Okay. I like the setup. And I'm a fan of Tom Hanks. So they got me on a few things already, right? I like the setting, I like the setup, and I'm a fan of Tom Hanks. Um, I have no concerns when it comes to Tom as an actor. I think he would be an absolutely fantastic Geppetto because he's he's very... He's very uh, fluid when it comes to his acting range. Um, so that's not really my concern. Usually my concerns with this is how they handled the storyline. If they're faithful to the storyline, then sure, we can get along. So there's a couple things I need to see. I need to see what happens with that whale. I need to see what happens with the character of Lampwick, if he's introduced into this. And I need to see if they make the kids into what I know they make the kids do. 
I need to really see those things on that island. I'm gonna call it the, um, I think it's is it the island of misfit kids, something, something along those lines. I need to see what happens if and when they get to that island when Pinocchio goes on his little teenage rebellion phase. Yeah, we've all said this at least once. We've all said that at least once. I do like the song, and Jimmy looks very... That, if I had to guess... Let me see if I could see Pinocchio. If I had to guess, I'm gonna guess that that kid in the front, or yeah, probably that kid in the front is probably the Lampwick. No, let's not. Never mind. But this looks like the island of uh, the island of corruption, the island of misfit kids, the island where kids can go and do whatever it is that they want to do until their heart is content and even when their heart is content you just push them past that point if you've never seen the movie go watch the movie and you'll know exactly what i'm talking about germany yeah never seen those characters before but i'm pretty sure that that is part of that island Pinocchio. Didn't really get to see a chance to see his face, but it's, come on now. Uh, we know what Pinocchio looks like already. We saw the gloves. Um, listen, my favorite rendition of Pinocchio is in Shrek. <laughs> my all-time favorite rendition of Pinocchio, aside from the actual movie, will always be in Shrek. Shrek 1, to be specific. Um, where he's doing a little scene with the gingerbread man. I'm not going to say what it is, but he had some on. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I really don't know what, the, what this movie will be like. I'm going to watch it, obviously, because of curiosity. And that's how Disney has been getting my money lately. It's just straight curiosity. It's not necessarily even intrigue. Um, a lot of shows that they have, I still, I like a lot of shows that they have. I don't like this one. I think they were smart in putting it straight to streaming. I wouldn't pay money in the theater to watch this, but I would actually watch it on Disney Plus if it went straight to streaming, which it is. So I'm going to check this out. I think that's how they've been functioning for quite some time now. They know their business model and so far it's been working. So I will I will get back to you with a proper review once this comes out September 8th, a Disney, a Disney Day premiere. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? And what do you think Disney's next move is? Are you fed up of live action movies? And are you actually going to watch this and check it out when it comes out? Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section. And I will get back to you on the next one. See you.